Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, we're in the middle of a circus tent. It may not look like it, but it certainly is. Illusion magic is weaving a different look, however. And not everything is as it seems. In fact, so far, practically nothing has been what it seems to be. For instance, this ogre is not an ogre, but a person who wanted us to get a key that actually looks like a sword, from peasants who were actually orcs, to unlock chains that we cannot see, and we pass the spider who is actually a person. Illusion magic can be so bewildering. Let's just hand over the so-called mm. key to the ogre. If it turns out that this is all just a massive deception, we can take I'm care of an ogre. Good this actually is very well maintained, Cork, and I don't know what you're talking about. This illusionary magic is very difficult to pierce. Not Let's have a conversation. You, you had the key, or, or rather the sword. Please, please give it to me, and, and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last. I, as you wish. I thank you for your trust. This sword, it is actually a key that unlocks the chain that powers my horrible illusion. My hands, my skin, it's real again. Oh, thank you, Beavar. Oh, we must find Quail and stop Kala before he does any more harm. Airy is a companion that can join your party, and I typically have Airy in my party if I'm playing with a good main character. She is a multi-class wizard cleric and is very versatile. She's rather frail in melee combat, as to be expected from a multi-class wizard cleric, but her selection of magic is vast indeed. But she is a good aligned character, so we're not having her in our party. Wait here then, I will go further into the citadel, and will come back later. Beware, not all things here are illusions. Close your eyes and strike back only if it hurts you. Oh, bring Quail back safely, would you? He... he's been very good to me. You've got quite a bit of experience for trusting her. 18,500. Yes, Let's move forward well. and have a conversation with this person. Welcome, lady, to Kala's realm. Be thee not of impure mind, for surely Lord Kala shall destroy thee. Be thee not of impure heart, or thou wilt surely destroy thyself. Kala is the one ruler, the one true being. Who exactly is Kala? And where is this realm of his that I have come to? Kala is beyond thy ken, mortal. He is the beginning. He is the end. He is our god and our king. Tremble before him, and he may take pity on thee. I am my own person, and not this Kala's possession. Bow before the will of thy betters, mortal. Kala's rage is awesome to behold. Let not thyself be found in its path. Thank you for the information. Farewell. Kala's blessing upon thee, lady. Let's leave. And move further forward. Ah! Here are some werewolves and a shadow. What would you we have should fight do? these and uh, see if they are be in fact real. It. They might not be real. Uh, that certainly was uh, real enough. And you're Your attacking goodness. Vaconia. Yeah. You should go and help out. These foes are not that tricky. You are expected to come here a lot earlier than I have. That werewolf, however, was not real. Ready. And I this is a place where Yoshimo needs to do well. some trap finding, because there might very well be traps nearby. Whatever. Quite a lot of them. Ah! More werewolves! One werewolf here, one werewolf here. You're going to what attack uh, him, and you're going to attack, I imagine, uh... Terry. Let's see My which ones of these are real. Are any of them real? You weren't real. And you weren't real either. Defeating them really doesn't matter because uh, there's no harm in doing so. Also, we don't want them following us and constantly trying to hit us. Yes. None of these Especially. appear to be uh, trapped, so we'll have a look and find some pretty nice things. Yoshimo, you can grab them. We'll sort everything out once we've completed here. And that, ooh, that there is a shadow. And we want to fight you just in case you're real. You might not be real. You're probably not real. Nope, the shadow was real. That was a sensible idea. 
Anyone else in here? Aha! One more werewolf. Or is it a werewolf? Let's find out. Nope, wasn't real. And there's nobody over here. This is a very potent illusion indeed. Everything here would seem to be real, until you disbelieve the illusion, whereupon it uh, takes on a more translucent uh, nature, and is revealed, uh, to you at least, to not be so. Hmm. Telling other people after you have found out that it's an illusion makes it more likely they'll be able to see through it as well. well. Let's go. Oh. Congratulations, Terry. Kalar is most amused by your progress. You may yet live as long as you continue to provide such entertainment. Are you ready to proceed? Proceed to where? I shall take you to the next part of our little game. Are you ready to go? I am ready. You do show some courage. Go then! You must gather your party before venturing. Ooh! Here is a situation. We have Kala, a werewolf, a shadow, another shadow, and a pile of goo that is quail. You are going somewhere you do not want to be. Oh, that you are. We'll attack here, 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 and we'll wait a minute. Well yes. done, my friend. Truly, I doubted that you would survive to meet me. Welcome to my domain. I regret that my hospitality will result in your deaths. We shall see if that's the case. At them, my shadows! If they be fools, my other beasts shall strike them down! If not, the task shall fall to you, my shades. The circus now truly begins! There's more dialogue if you have Aerie in your party at this point. We don't! So, <laughs> let's... Have some combat. Where shall I display my skill and expertise? You're going to attack Kala? Yes, Abir. You are going to... Hmm, I think a flame blade might be a good idea. No, actually, animate dead might be a good idea. Nature's servant away. And I feel that you having a bless cast on everyone, also a good idea. Let's go! Now, Kala will either attack you or attack Whale. We need to try and save Whale if we can. So we shall uh, attack. Oh, he's uh, said there, by the way, I, I skipped the first part, that uh, he can't see um, because he doesn't have any eyes. I was pressing space to, uh, to um, pause the game there. Bad timing. Some of these beasts are illusions and some are real. Don't attack the illusions. If you attack the illusions, you'll have acknowledged them, and then their damage will become real to you. Do not worry. We're going to protect you as best we can. Ah! Attention has now been uh, shifted over to us, which is good, because Quail will now live. Kala is gone. 2,000 experience gained. No! <coughs> this isn't what was supposed to happen. This isn't what was promised to me. Promise to you? I have planned this for too long, only to have my plans shattered by some inbred northern adventurers. I... I just wanted to be respected. Probably not the right way to go about it. <coughs> You've killed me! Destroyed Kala with your misplaced morals and beastly greed for adventure! You are done talking, Gnome. You'll be dead in moments. You don't understand, do you? You take my life, but worse, you take my dignity. I just wanted... I wanted to be the king instead of... Instead of... The gnome is dead. How he was able to perform these great feats of illusion will have to remain a mystery, it seems. Uncle Quail, you're okay! We gained some levels, and that's good. Ah, I knew Kala would trip over himself eventually. I'm just pleased he despised me enough to play with me rather than dispose of me like some of the others. What would I ever do without you? I... I think you need to find out, my dear. I've taught you everything I can. It's time, Airy. Time for you to learn the rest on your own. You're the wisest and smartest and the kindest man I'll ever know. Are you the same quail as the one we met in Baldur's Gate? I don't think you are. Or maybe you've changed. I wasn't always, my dear. You changed that, but I can't keep you here. Terry, you can provide for her better than I, 
Perhaps you will take her with you? There is no room for her at my side. Right now, at least. Perhaps another time. Come, come back and visit, then. Maybe you'll have need of me in the future, and I could travel with you. I'd like that. Oh, that's not going to happen. Ever. I'm also, loot! There's some nice things that we can get here. We'll just grab everything. What would you have very And well. then we'll grab all of this too. Some gold, a ring, some I scrolls. Some beast of Yoshimo is willing. No you can grab the scrolls. Loads of gold, actually. Very nice. I must apologize, but I can carry no more. I have set your item upon the ground. Somebody else will be able to carry them, I'm sure. Like you. There we go. We have yeah. everything. And now we can leave. I was just checking to see if there was any more loot to be had. Now it's just the circus tent, like it originally was. Very well. Let's talk to you. Whatever for the glory of arm. I just wanted to thank you, citizen, for doing such a fine job. You've saved us more than a little trouble with that gnome. The city thanks you. Truly. I have a question. A friend of mine has been imprisoned by the cowled wizards. Do you know where they might be keeping her? Well, they would have imprisoned her wherever they keep their magic-using criminals, and they keep the location of their prison a secret. Sorry about your friend, but that's the way it is. What do you know about the Shadow Thieves, then? They are a power here in the city, and they're everywhere you look. If you intend to deal with them, friend, be wary. I'll be going, then. Very good, citizen. You have my thanks once again. We gain one reputation. A good thing to get. Because that makes everything that little bit cheaper for us in the long run. You can have that to free up some inventory. I'm waiting. We're going to go yes. and do some selling, if because we have lots of things that we can sell. And Vaconia is overburdened. We could sort that though. Guides my now, you have a level up, and that's good. Leveling up's always nice. You gained two hit points, and you gained a little bit of skill in your various uh, thieving abilities. We want you to have... let's see, we could give you some Detect Illusion, but actually I think uh, Open Lock is a good thing for you to get. Definitely. And we want just more Open Lock. Good idea. There you go. I am ready. Now, can you identify all the things that we just got? I doubt you can I well, you I could probably identify I can carry that. No more. I have set your item upon the ground. We actually want you to drop this so that we can make some space with that uh this here. There we go. Open container and put all of these in because we want to make a lot of space. There we go. Very nice. Now we can pass you all of our magic stuff, and hopefully you can glean what its purpose is. We also have this short sword that we want to identify, and this, and that, and this, and that, and these arrows. We know what the arrows are, though. They're arrows plus one. Yes, indeed, arrows plus one. And you actually might as well uh, have them equipped at least for now. There we go. This is a girdle, we don't know what that is. This is a short sword plus one. That's a magical short sword you don't know the uh, identity of. And a magic ring. And bullets plus one. You don't know what the plate mail does either. Fair enough. You require my counsel. We have things we need to uh, get identified. Of course. So let's go and do that. And let's also do some selling. Our reputation's a bit better, which means the prices are a bit better. Ribald Bartiman at your service. We'd like to do some selling, please. What do we have to sell? We can sell all these flails, the necklace, the longbow. Seems good to me. We'll sell the splint mails. Ah, that's a good point. Are we selling things that are actually uh, on your person? No. But we probably want to have this equipped to someone. Just you for now. I'm sure somebody else will be able to uh, yeah. get some... Already. That's how I turn the three heads of Danark into the two and a half heads of Danark. Why is it all your stories end with you hitting someone with an axe? 
All the best stories end with someone getting hit with an axe. A fine tale, dwarf. I'm reminded of the time I slew a pack of lycanthropes in the worm forest. Why? What happened? I slew a pack of werewolves in the worm forest. Ah! You know how to tell a tale, I'll give you that half-orc. You call that a tale? It was barely a sentence. It's nice to have someone in this wretched crew that understands the finer things in life, like the many enjoyable ways there are to end it. You and I are cut from the same cloth. We both know the sublime joy that can only be found in unrestrained slaughter. Someday, you and me will have to sit down with an ale or two. Dozen. And then we'll really tell some tales. Indeed, I look forward to it. Ah, oh, my party members are getting on. The adventure marks the wonderful. Shopping and all of Let us uh, lowest do some more um, selling. Just the goods, fair and plain. Ah, he is uh, talking a lot there. I interrupted him, but that is something that happens. We'll keep for Skona. Studded leather we'll get rid of. Long swords. This is all small piddling amounts of change, but it will all start adding up when I start selling suits of plate mail. There we go. There are lots of them, and we want to, uh, hmm, braces of armor plus eight. We'll hold on to them for now. We'll get rid of all of them. Plus one dagger we don't really need. There we go. Two-handed sword, plus one mace, and a plus one flail. Do I want either of those? No, not really. We don't have anybody that's really going to use them. So we will sell. Long sword plus one, don't need. Short sword plus one, don't need. Flail, don't need. Keep that. You have nothing to sell. We want a few things identifying, because we can't identify them ourselves. This is a ring that gives Charisma 18. Wow! This is a pretty good magic item, a very good magic item. We're going to be using that quite a bit. This is an interesting sword. That is the Elves Bane Girdle. And this is a suit of plate mail plus one, all worth identifying. Mainly because the plate mail plus one can be worn by Dawn. So we'll give Dawn that. Selling this plate mail will recoup the cost of identifying there. Let's have a look at everything else. This is armor class plus three versus missile and piercing attacks. We'll give this over to Dawn. Why not? We also have this uh, sword of agility plus two. You're immune to hold and paralysis when you've equipped it and haste once per day, duration two rounds. We don't really need that. The ring, however, charisma 18. Sure, I'll have that. Charisma 18 seems pretty good. Mind your tone. It also has another ability, too. Charm person once per day. Very nice indeed. We have various potions as well, but generally we just want to sell a few things. We'll give you the sword, you this here, and I think we're good when it comes to selling things. Yeah. We have what things to we sell. To make your dreams come true today. Well, I'd like to sell the ooh three thousand. We're not really going to have anybody in our party that's ever going to use short swords, though, so we'll get rid of it. We're already partway towards getting that twenty thousand gold, and mm. our reputation is improved. It's now average. Yeah. I don't mind it being average. Mm. So let us leave. And when we come back, folks, there are still a few things that we can do. There are some quests that we can do um, from the uh, Church of Helm. We can go seek out that person who wants the... Uh, who's going to make those things for us. And we can also... Who are you? Ah, you're a prophet. We could talk to you. Why not? You're here. You look important. Pray and come with us and be found worthy. You... One of the faithless with your sight, bow down to the unseeing eye and acknowledge his divine majesty. Excuse me, I must be going. Acknowledge his might, the unseeing eye is everywhere, and you shall all bow down before him, the faithless. I see only the faithless before me. You see the faithless, but you have no eyes. It was figurative. I see them everywhere. Let's just go. And when we come back, folks, 
we will go and uh, do a few more quests, get a little bit more money, eventually spend that money on uh, getting better equipment, because right now we're using a suit of plate mail. And our armor class is not bad, it could be a lot better though. But we're one step closer to getting that 20,000 gold, and one step closer to getting a full party of evil people. In fact, I think we might go and get another one. We'd have to go to the dock district for that, but it's worth it. Oh, it's worth it. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.